Hey, how's it going team? This is Eddie Gray. Welcome to the course. It's brought to you by Mix Innovator. Super stoked to be here. I just want to introduce myself. I want to tell you a little bit about what I've done, why I'm here, and why I think this course is of particular value. So if someone had stopped me 10 years ago, eight years ago when I first started, and they told me the best method and way of thinking about software instruments and how to purchase them, I would have saved so much cash. And so in an effort to inform you on best practices when buying software instruments, I want to take you through a process which I believe can help you. Who is this class for? This class is going to be for beginners. It's going to be for hobbyists, people who are interested in taking their music to the next level while saving some money in the process. All right, so what this class is not, we're not gonna learn synthesis, we're not gonna cover every single button, every single configuration, and every single one of these synthesizers. So if you're interested in that, this probably is not the class for you. My aim is to give you the very best information when you are making an informed decision as you purchase your products. Now, I believe that Arturia, in many ways, is a better decision for creatives all over the world when making a purchase. And this course is going to back up my argument. So we're gonna be looking at Arturia, their current offerings. We're also gonna be looking at native instruments, what they offer, the pros, the cons, and which one is essentially right for you. Something to keep in mind, we're talking price point, we're talking the computer space that you will need in order to download all of these various software instruments. I'm interested in usability, organization. In other words, which one is best if I want a better workflow? Something else to consider when shopping for software instruments is their long-term usage. Can I use them for the next five years, the next seven years? How relevant will these tools be in the next couple of years. So of course, we're gonna look at the analog synths, the digital pianos, all of the various keyboard offerings in both of these products. We're really gonna cover the effects a lot more extensively. Along with that, I'm gonna make a final comparison between the actual sounds and who is really capturing that analog physical emulation. So if you're interested in learning more about both of these products and which one is best for you, then go ahead and stay tuned. I look forward to hanging out with you. Thank you so much for picking up this course and I will catch you on the next one. Cheers.